What's up, hungry people? Get ready to do the Hanky Panky. This beefy app is a Midwestern party snack classic. Also sometimes known regionally as on a shingle, SOS, or Polish mistakes, no matter what you call them, they are crazy easy to make and delicious to boot. Start with equal parts ground beef and spicy Italian sausage. If you're using spicy sausage straight from the casing, it can sometimes be difficult to break it up adequately. I received this Neato ground beef tool thing a few years ago as a gift, and it's hands down the easiest way to brown beef and break up sausage. It's just a fun little tool. Check out the link in the description to grab one for yourself. Next, add in Worcestershire sauce, or Worcester sauce, or however you say it, cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper. Mix it all together, and once the sausage is cooked through, cool the meat for about 10 minutes. Then add in the fresh parsley and sharp cheddar cheese. Stir it all together until the cheese is just starting to soften and melt from the heat of the meat mixture. Then grab a baking sheet and arrange slices of both pumpernickel and rye party bread on it in a single layer. Spoon about one to two tablespoons of the topping onto each slice of bread. Bake the hanky pankies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 175 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese has melted completely and the bread is starting to get crispy around the edges. As a staple party dish in most Ohioan households, if you've lived anywhere in the Midwest, it's likely you've encountered this amazing appetizer. It's such a simple concept with powerful flavors that are straight up addicting. What's your favorite party appetizer? Let me know down in the comments below. I do have a little bit of merch available, so if you want to help support my channel, and especially if you're from Ohio or specifically Cleveland, I think you'll enjoy some of the Cleveland-centric designs. Check out the Teespring link in the description to check out my designs. Saute up that like button if this recipe made you hungry, and ring the dinner bell to be notified of new recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. Don't forget you can find this recipe and many others with step-by-step -step instructions on thestarvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.